Muriel from the Sunshine Family today talking about 11 reasons why Costa Rica for families is a perfect match. <laughs> How do I know? I am a family, I'm a mom, I have two kids and I moved to Costa Rica with Dirk, my husband, basically with the four of us. And we are here, um, we live an awesome life. And I have, hex I have experienced myself how good Costa Rica is for families. And I thought, you know what? My uh, channel is dedicated to share everything I have learned. So I'm gonna make a video about it. So if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel yet, perhaps I'm brand new for you because you were scrolling on YouTube and you found my video. My name is Muriel, again, nice to meet you. You can subscribe to my channel to, uh, and hit the bell icon to receive future um, notifications and videos if I'm uploading them so you won't have to miss anything and I'm here to share everything I've learned that's also a lot of mistakes so you can prevent making those mistakes and just also daily expat life information basically everything I think that can be helpful for others so thanks for subscribing it helped me to support my channel and of course it um, yeah it sparkles me up to create more content the more viewers and subscribers I have but let's just dive right in um, why Costa Rica for families why is it a good match reason number one that was one of the most important things the first things I looked at it has a great medical care Costa Rica has very good medical experts um, they are more or less situated in San Jose uh, in Clinica Biblica and there's some other clinics but just not to to go into details i made other videos about uh, medical care in costa rica and which clinic i'm really fond of well actually i already mentioned the name clinica biblica but um especially for children the best experts uh, medical care um, surgeons specialists they are to find in the in the in the children's hospital in san jose so there's even a specific children hospital in san jose and the best medical experts are working there. So if anything happens to your child, just be sure how to get to that clinic. And well, my experience is that my daughter had surgery. She broke her collarbone. And you know, in Clinica Biblica, I was taken care of so well. I could stay with her as a mom in her room. I am super, super grateful. So also in small towns, like where I live close to Santa Teresa, there's good doctors and they have a good view on when to refer you to the, to the clinics, uh, in, more in Santa Ana and San Jose, or they can do also a lot themselves. So take a breath, take a breath. I mean, yes, you're good with medical care. Check. Reason number two is that there's many school options. Of course, it depends on where you live. If you decide to live on a peninsula, where I live, I live at the peninsula de Nicoya in the province Punta Arenas, but there's also, for example, um, a peninsula Osa that's more down south. Depending on which location you would like to live, we choose to live more remote. There are options. There is Montessori school, there is special education, there is international schools, there is also that is for us right oh there's local schools there's you know for small children for for prep children in the prep age what's going on dogs <laughs> um yeah there are options of course right now with the big changes in the world you have to see which schools are still there uh, also the school systems have changed with going online temporarily due to covid but what we've done um, is that we um, um, brought our children into contact with online schooling, which is also a possibility, but more about that. But there are options, a big variety of schools, depending on the location. So that's check number two, right? Check number three is that there are lots of activities for children. Uh, it's a very diverse country, especially when you love sports and stuff. There is sports to find, even in small towns. There are children everywhere. Here in Santa Teresa, where I live closest to in a small town, there is Muay Thai, there is, there is surfing, there is yoga, there is soccer, there is all kinds of kids clubs and in high season, dry season, there's also exclusive workshops. There's lots of things to find for children, for expats, for vacationers, um, for locals, mixed, it's basically, I never, um, I never thought, wow, why isn't there anything to do here for my kids? There's plenty. 
so yeah, that's a, a very important checkbox for me. I hope it's an important checkbox unchecked for you now as well. Um, one, uh, fact number four, the wildlife, the jungle, the nature, it's all around us. It was a very important reason for us to move to Costa Rica and not to another country. First of all, we love Latin America, just the atmosphere that's here, Spanish speaking country. We just love the language and the sound. And yeah, um, there is a lot of wildlife here. Um, we have monkeys on our property swinging from tree to tree. Lots of birds when the mangoes are hanging and the fruits, it's when it's fruit season. And just the priority of nature. You can choose the mountains, the oceans, the, the you know, there is a lot to discover in Costa Rica. So depending on what you love most, a more cooler area, a more warmer area, a more mountain, more ocean, there is a lot of space, a lot of nature. And that is, I think, a big, big win in the world right now. Um, so yeah, that's a big checkbox for us. I hope you are excited to hear that. And um, But there's more. Um, I already mentioned it actually it's like i i mentioned two two reasons wildlife and animals okay nature wildlife animals it's basically number four and five nature it's not necessarily that when there's a lot of nature for example um, i visited puerto rico once for a vacation no it was actually an entrepreneur event uh, i was speaking in an entrepreneur event we were um, invited and we flew in we wanted to fly in Dirk's mom and the kids to vacation right after, um, connecting with their, their speaking tour, so, so to say. But we found out that for the kids it was kind of boring. There were nice beaches, but there was not. We were looking into Puerto Rico, and no offense for Puerto Rico, for Puerto Rican people, but there's not so much life, um, wildlife in Puerto Rico. So we started to search online where is a lot of wildlife. So Costa Rica has nature, Puerto Rico has nature, but the wildlife is to find in Costa Rica. So basically, what is a big checkbox for us? There is nature and wildlife. So I hope that makes sense. Number six fact, while why we believe Costa Rica is very good for families, is that it's high on the eco-friendly list so if you are really um pro you know environment environmental um better the world and an eco-friendly everything then costa rica is a good country because they strive to to be that country um so yeah there is a lot to a, a lot of communities here who are very active for that so yeah, you can eat from the trees here, from the ground, from the from the soil. Um, you won't be the only one who thinks eco-friendly, an eco-friendly world is important. So that's a big pro, I believe, uh, when you are a family and you're looking into Costa Rica. Another reason is number seven, why it's awesome for families, I believe, when you have kids growing up, kids, is that there are many other expats. It's, it is very mixed culture. So I come from the Netherlands, for example, it's Europe. I am used to multicultural environments, especially where I come from, big city, The Hague, lots of cultures. Here in Santa Teresa, it's a very mixed culture group as well. It's expats, it's locals, it's people from Europe, United States, but also from Asia, from Israel. They're from everywhere and it mingles pretty well. I actually love that. So I think that's a big pro for families in Costa Rica. Um, but that being said, it's also friendly uh, locals and expats in general, that that's my personal experience, uh, is that it mixes really well. For example, I move, uh, go to Muay Thai three times per week and there are locals there training and there's expats there training. And there's also expats who are here for 20 years. There's expats who are here just for a short while. And there's travelers there and we all train together and there's an awesome atmosphere. So you find that on other places too. So I believe um, that it's a big pro when the local people are really open and friendly for expats because it's, it's a happier state, right? You feel more welcome. And also the feeling that you can give back to the local community is also a big win. Um, yeah, so I think that's a big checkbox. Um, number nine, there is a choice of lifestyle. So no matter if you're more like luxury, uh, you, you know, you, you have a bigger budget, 
there there are beautiful million dollar mansions to find in Costa Rica with ocean view with everything with jacuzzis pools whatsoever really really a lot of choice especially right now there's a big market for real estate investors so just go and check it out um i there's a, a big house of friends i know for sale i don't know if it's still for sale by the time that you're gonna click this link leading to a video that i created in that house um but check it out uh, yeah for um more luxury luxury lifestyle costa rica is a right fit for families but also if you just have a smaller budget and you just want to rent a small house it's possible there is everything to find for all kinds of budgets and i think the type of lifestyle that you strive for I believe it's there if you're more like a hiker t type and you want to to live really remotely or even off grid it's possible i know people who live really off grid and they love it uh, i also know, pe know people who, who live in million million dollar mansions i love it too we love personally um, we want to have water and electricity and wi-fi and stuff obviously because we work online by the way if you wonder what it is that we do Click the very first link below every of my video to learn more or scroll further in the description and, and look at my life coaching programs and see what else I might be able to offer you. Uh, but a good internet connection and all those benefits, water, electricity, Wi-Fi is very important to us so we don't live off grid, but it, uh, it is possible. Um, we choose for space living at the countryside away from Santa Teresa town but we are close to town and we have the benefits of living close to town, but also the benefits of living in silence. As you can hear, it's silent here, right? Uh, and we have a lot of space and the property that we bought was, um, we got more for less because it's away from Santa Teresa. It's more inland. So there is different types of lifestyle possible. And I think that's a big benefit because there's people from all walks of life looking into Costa Rica, especially now when the world is in time of transition. Uh, perhaps you want to leave the United States and you're like, yeah, but what about Costa Rica? I have kids, is it, is it fit for families? I believe uh, Costa Rica for families is a perfect match, but that's my personal experience. Again, you have to check it out for yourself and just come visit Costa Rica. I am almost there. I am at reason number 10. There is good internet possible. Not everywhere like i said it depends on where you are but in the area where we live on the peninsula the nicoya there is optic glass fiber fiber optic internet which is actually faster than we had in a big city the hague in the netherlands so i believe that's a big win especially in the time right now where we're working online is not the future but the the now it's how most kids are going to school right now with the school that's temporarily closed because of COVID. It's how business owners can replace their current business or even attract customers to their existing business to their front door when leveraging everything that's possible online. You can connect with your family members who are just somewhere else in the world. If you're vacationing in Costa Rica and you're here with your family for vacationing or you are living here or want to live here and you are wondering, can I connect with my family back home yes it's possible when you have a fast internet connection and most places have it and uh, choose your location well of course if you're looking for a place to live or a place for vacation check double check and re double check if there's a fast internet connection but in general it mustn't be such a big problem the last reason why i believe costa rica for families is a perfect match is because it's safe. In general, it is safe. Of course, use your common sense, you know, don't leave your material, your valuable stuff in your car while you're going to surf, you know, don't. I have heard stories, you know, about robberies, about people digging up keys that people were, uh, were hiding because they were surfing. You know, what it is, is that you have to use your common sense. Don't go to the beach by yourself late at night. All those things I didn't do when I was living in the Netherlands. We have a beach in the Netherlands. I didn't leave my valuables in my car there. I wasn't walking in the park uh, by myself late at night. So use your common sense. But in general, it's not, it's not an unsafe country. 
yes, there are robberies, but just you have to always be aware of pickpocket thieves, right? Pocket thieves. Uh, but in general, for your children, as a family, I believe Costa Rica is safe and uh, it's worth it to just check it out. I hope my this is basically the end of my video. Those were my 11 personal reasons why I believe Costa Rica is the right fit for families. And yeah, I hope that you benefit from my video. Like my video if you like it. Um, if you think others can benefit from it, share it. And of course, leave your comment or your reply below, your question. I'm always happy to reply. I appreciate you watching and of course, uh, if you haven't subscribed, you can still do that. Click the little icon here on the screen and check out the description below my videos. There's so much more that I do that I have to tell you about Costa Rica and about what it is that I do. And if you have any suggestions about for me making videos about, as long as I know something to share about it, of course. Like, I won't pretend that I know everything. I just learn what I share. Uh, but uh, I share what I have learned. Uh, but yeah, just let me know. And yeah, with that being said, bye for now and looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Pura vida!